our distribution of WebMO was upgraded in fall 2016, and so I want to go through a quick tutorial in the new version to show you how to build a molecule, optimize its geometry, and examine its molecular orbitals. And we're going to look at the example of formate anion. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're using the right URL to log in. The correct URL is virgil.chemistry.godtech.edu. This is the Cheryl Group's version of WebMO here at Georgia Tech. It's the first link when you Google WebMO GA Tech. Upon reaching the login screen, enter the username and password that I provided to you in an email and click login. And then you'll be brought to a list of the jobs you've run so far. When you first log in, this will be completely empty. I've run a few jobs in the past, so I've got some here. Your list will be empty. To add a new job, click New Job, Create New Job up here in the top left, and you'll be brought to the Build screen. Here we actually build the structure of the molecule that we'd like to know about, essentially. And in this case, we're interested in the formate anion. Formate has a central carbon atom bound to two oxygen atoms and one hydrogen atom, and one of the oxygens is doubly bound. So as I'm showing here, I like to build kind of the skeleton of the bonds and atoms using just carbons, that's the default atom here, and then change the atom types at the end. But there are multiple ways you can build molecules in WebMO and use the way that works for you that makes the most sense. To change the atom I'm building with from carbon to oxygen, I can simply type the letter O, and you'll see that change in the bottom left here. And then I can click on the atoms I've already laid down to change them from carbons to oxygens. I'll do the same thing for hydrogen now. Type the letter H to build with hydrogen, and click on this last carbon to change it into a hydrogen atom. And it's much smaller because hydrogen is much smaller than the heavier elements. Now before we move forward, we need to make sure that each atom has the correct formal charge specified. The main reason for this is we need to let WebMO know how many electrons this molecule has, and specifying the formal charges is really important for that. So the way to do this is to first of all select the adjustment tool, which just looks like a plain mouse cursor. Click on the atom of interest whose formal charge you'd like to change. You get some information about that atom down in the bottom status bar here. If you right click and select the charge option, you're able to edit the formal charge on this atom. Now, in this case, this is oxygen with three lone pairs and one single bond. That corresponds to a formal charge of minus one. So I hit OK, and you can see it's very tiny, but you can see it there that this oxygen now has a formal charge of minus one. There's one more thing we want to do before we move forward, and that's give WebMO a pretty good guess of what the geometry should be. To do that, we can use the cleanup menu, and specifically what we want to use is comprehensive idealized. This adjusts the structure so that it produces an idealized version of the molecule. So WebMO is going to make little adjustments as it optimizes the geometry, but this is its best guess for the geometry based on the atoms and bonds and formal charges that we've laid down. To move forward, we click this arrow in the bottom right, and now we're going to select some options for the calculation. The first is what's called the engine. This is the underlying software that actually runs the calculation. For now, we're going to be using Psi4. You may also see QChem here. The engine doesn't have a huge impact on the outcome of the calculation, but for now, we're going to stick with Psi4. What we want to do first is optimize the geometry, get the lowest energy from a quantum mechanical perspective geometry of this molecule. So I'm going to select Geometry Optimization. The method we can leave is hartree fock the basis set, which is essentially the atomic orbitals that go into the calculation, we want to select here is 631G star. In some versions of the lab manual, in old versions of this experiment, you may see 631G D in parentheses. This has been replaced with 631G star, so select that here. Moving forward, now we see the calculation running here, and after a few seconds or potentially a couple of minutes, we're going to see that the calculation has completed. So the, the calculation is now completed, and notice that the name has now turned into a link that we can click. This now is the quantum mechanically optimized geometry, and to determine the molecular orbitals of this molecule, we can click New Job Using This Geometry. Before doing that, though, I do want to highlight that if you scroll down, you can see some important geometric information about this molecule. So you can see the energies of the different structures that WebMO generated as it did the optimization, including the lowest energy at the bottom here. And you can also see the partial charges 
on each atom. So what we can say, for example, is that the carbon in this molecule has a partial charge of about plus 0 0.5. The two oxygens have equal negative charges. That's actually interesting since they look different in the structure, but from a quantum mechanical perspective, they have equal formal charges, equal partial charges of negative 0 0.7, and the hydrogen is slightly negative at negative 0 0.07. To find the molecular orbitals, though, we need to do another calculation. And to get there, we use this little bo button at the bottom, new job using this geometry. This pushes that same structure into a new calculation, so we can work with it and select new options and all that good stuff. So you don't have to mess with the structure at all. We want to use this exactly as it came from the geometry optimization calculation, so we'll move forward. Molecule is not exactly symmetric. Is that okay? Yes, we don't want to mess with the structure we generated, so that's fine. We'll choose the same engine, and now we want to change the calculation to molecular orbitals instead of geometry optimization. Pushing this forward, now WebMMO is doing the molecular orbital calculation, and after just a few seconds, this job will complete, and we can once again click on the molecule. To view the molecular orbitals, scroll down to the molecular orbitals table. So from this calculation, we get those partial charges, which we had in the previous calculation as well, but now we also get a really nice list of the molecular orbitals, and this is essentially an orbital energy diagram just rearranged in table form. So you've got all the molecular orbitals, the number of electrons in each orbital, remember two is the maximum, one spin up, one spin down electron, the energy of that orbital, and then its shape, and to see the shape, just click the magnifying glass that's here. So for example, if we wanted to look at orbital number one, we click that magnifying glass, and orbital number one appears here. And what we can see, for example, is that it's composed of s orbitals on the two oxygens with opposite phase. The red and the blue indicate positive and negative phase of the wave function. And once you've viewed one orbital, you can now use the table on the left to view the others. So for example, if I wanted to look at the highest energy orbital that has electrons within it. I could look at orbital 12, clicking that, and here is, according to this calculation, the highest occupied orbital of formate ion.